Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For every real number x, the real number negative of x that satisfies the property x plus negative x equals zero is unique. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description of the video below. And I'll also include a description of the real number system. Now, let's remind ourselves of the axiom that discusses this real number, negative x. For every real number x, there exists a real number that we call the negative x that satisfies the property that x plus the negative x is equal to zero. Now, the whole point of this theorem is we're trying to prove that this real number, negative x, that satisfies this property is the only real number that satisfies this property. And to prove that, we're going to be using a property of the real number system that we have proven, and that is the cancellation law of addition. So we have proven for every real numbers a, b, and c, if a plus b equals a plus c, then b is equal to c. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start the proof, since we're trying to prove a statement about every real number, let's give ourselves an arbitrary real number. We'll call it x. From here, the whole goal is to show that the real number, which we call negative x, that satisfies this property, is the only real number which satisfies this property. Now, first of all, let's just note by axiom 5 that the negative x is a real number that satisfies this property. And to show that the negative x is the only real number that satisfies this property, let's suppose we have another real number that satisfies this property. I'll call that real number r. So suppose r is another real number that has this property. So we have x plus r equals 0. From here, we want to show that the negative x is equal to r. Now, we see that x plus the negative x is equal to 0 and x plus r is equal to 0. So, since these two guys are both equal to the same thing, they must be equal to each other. But then, applying the cancellation law of addition, since x plus negative x equals x plus r, we cancel out the x's, so we're left with negative x equals r. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So we have shown that the negative x is the only real number with this property. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.